So 2024 is a leap year, meaning there's an extra day on our calendar, February 29th, which happens once every four years. But why do we do this? Why do we have leap years and how do we determine when to have them? The answer is complicated and requires a lot of numbers. Take a look. To complete one trip around the sun takes 365 days, except it's actually 365.2422. So about a quarter day longer, which adds up to a full day every four years. Staying with me? So this small difference means without leap years, we are behind about 5.8 hours each year. And while this is a small number, over centuries, this would have an impact on our calendar. In 100 years, our calendar would be off by 24 days. So for example, instead of the first day of spring being on March 19th, without leap year, it would be on February 24th. Holidays like Christmas and Thanksgiving would be earlier in the year. To help synchronize the time, the solution was introduced centuries ago. We add one day every four years. Problem solved, right? Not quite. When you subtract the amount of time it takes for the Earth to complete one revolution around the sun, with our solution, you find out we're off by decimals. Meaning now we're actually ahead, about 11 minutes each year. And over 100 years, our calendar would be about 18 hours off, which doesn't sound like a huge problem, but again, over centuries, this would eventually throw off our calendar. To help bring this number closer to zero, we'll actually skip leap years to realign the calendar to the solar year. But the rules are very specific. To help understand this, we can use leap year hopscotch to solve the problem. Because some leap years you skip and some you don't. The math gets messy and skipping years does help to an extent. You skip a leap year if it falls on the start of a century unless that year is divisible by 400. So for example, every four years, we'll continue to acknowledge the extra day in February. But in the year 2100, we will skip that leap year since one, it falls on the start of a century, and two, it is not divisible by 400. Back in the year 2000, that was a leap year. But since it was divisible by 400, we did not skip it. It takes a minute to wrap your head around it, but with this added solution, the current average is 365.2425. But unfortunately, we're still off by decimals, to be exact, about 26 seconds ahead each year. At this rate, it would take over 3,000 years to be off by one day, which some would say is close enough. So we need leap years to stay in sync with our calendar, holidays, birthdays, and the seasons. Maybe in the future, there'll be an easier way to realign the calendar with the precise solar year. Until then, leap years are the solution. Let us know if your birthday falls on February 29th. That'll be a story for another time. Ryan Shoptal, Ken's Five.